National School Choice Week wants to make the decision a little easier and has some tips on how you can best impact your child's future. Here with us this morning is the president of the National School Choice Week. That is Andrew Campanella. Hi, Andrew. Great to see you again, buddy. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. All right. So National School Choice Week. Let's talk about it. What's the, what's the goal of this week, first of all? The goal of National School Choice Week with 21,000 events all across the country is to let parents know that when it comes to their children's education, they do have choices. And we want parents to know that if they want to choose a traditional public school, public charter school, magnet school, private school, online academy, or homeschool their kids, now is the time to start looking at schools for their children. Don't wait until summer break. Start right now. Absolutely. Now, Nevada, I, I know, I mean, I, I live right down the street from a charter school. Uh, we have uh, some options when it comes to school choice, don't we? Absolutely. If you look at the past decade, Nevada parents have been provided more education options for their kids uh, than, than you can possibly imagine. Traditional public schools have open enrollment policies that make it easier to choose schools outside of your district or outside of your zip code. Public charter schools, as you just mentioned, the sector is thriving. There are a lot of great public magnet schools. Those are theme-based schools. There are now education savings accounts in Nevada where parents can use money that has been set aside for their child's education and send their kids to private schools or hire tutors. You also have a full-time statewide online academy and the freedom to homeschool your kids. So there's a variety of choices. Now's the time to look into them. How, how do you take advantage of the school choice though? I mean, I think we all know, okay, here's how you get into the public school. How do you take advantage of these other options that are available? Great question. So again, start now, don't wait until the summer. If you wait until the summer, you'll find that you have too few choices because a lot of seats in the best schools Get will be up. filled up. Yeah. Uh, you wanna go on school tours. You wanna ask lots of questions. For example, ask principals and administrators what the mission of the school is, what type of instructional techniques they use, what expectations they have for students at that school, and whether they encourage parent involvement. You wanna find out specifically how they encourage it too. Awesome. Uh, if you're looking for a new school, does it necessarily, does it, I know with a public school system, it typically has to be the one that's closest to you or the one that's assigned for your street. With charter schools and the like, you don't necessarily have to have that uh, locked down, do you? Well, in traditional public schools now, they're expanding the uh, traditional boundaries. They're letting parents choose traditional public schools that might not necessarily be on their street in their area or their zone. And the reason districts are doing this is because they see that school choice is incredibly popular among families and they want, these districts want parents to have a lot of options within the public sector. So one of the big goals of school choice is to try to break down some of these artificial boundaries yeah. that keep kids in certain areas when another school might be just a few blocks away that might be a better choice. Absolutely. I totally agree with that. Now let's talk about this new administration because I obviously know that uh, the, there's so there's, uh, there's uh, some odds so, 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 uh, compared to the last administration and this one, how school choice works. I know this, uh, this administration, big on school choice, big on charter schools. What's the policy? What can we expect? Well, President Trump and uh, the new education secretary designate, Betsy DeVos, have said that school choice is the single top education priority for our country. I am confident that using their platforms, using their bully pulpits, the president and the education secretary, as well as governors all across the country, including Governor Sandoval, can work to expand school choice for children. We want every child to be able to go to a school that meets his or her needs. That is the goal of school choice. Pairing up kids with schools that are right for them produces great results. Well, we have about 20 seconds left. Some, some opponents of school choice, they say it actually takes away from traditional public schools. H I mean, how would you respond? I know there's a lot of tax money that's put into the school system to be able to take that money and put it where you want it to be. I guess that's, that's what the, well, look the at debate our, is. Well, look at our conversation today. Yeah. We've talked about school choice and we focus a lot on traditional public schools. Yeah. So traditional public schools are an important part of school choice. The goal of this effort, not to, uh, undermine them in any way, shape, or form, but instead celebrate them and all options for kids. Awesome. Andrew, it's great having you. Thank you so much. 
Thank you. All right, when choosing the right school, it's important, obviously, to find the perfect match for your child. You can head over to the School Choice Week website. It's right there on your screen for all the resources you need. And National School Choice Week is a proud sponsor of the Morning Blank. Thank you, Sean.